Hello and welcome. I'm Paula Cardozo, your Education Subject Librarian at the University of Lethbridge Library. This is your LibGuide for Research in Education. I'll be walking you through this guide, some major resources for your studies in education, and outlining help that is available to you at your library. To get to all the guides, let's go back to the library homepage. We're going to click on Guides. And here's a list of all the different guides we've created for you here at the University of Lethbridge Library. The first column takes you through the beginning stages of planning your research, finding and evaluating sources, and writing up your research and then citing it. The third column features guides for very specific types of resources, including videos, government information, and newspapers. The middle column has guides created for you by your subject librarians. If you're doing any research that crosses into other disciplines, it isn't a bad idea to check out those resources too, if necessary. Let's get back into our research and education guide by clicking on education. I update this guide frequently, so it might look slightly different since the time I recorded this video. Usually the changes are pretty minor, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Like our other LibGuides, we've got tabs to different pages along with links below. As I add new content, I'll feature it here on the What's New box. If you need to contact me, email is always best, and you can do that from right here. I also have a direct to me chat function that you're more than welcome to use. It's lit up green when I'm online. You also have the option of getting help from the main research help desk. While we'd love to see you in person, we know that's not always possible. That's why you can also contact the desk by instant message, phone or text during operational hours and of course you can email anytime. At the bottom of the guide is a form, and feedback on this guide is always appreciated. So let's get started with getting started. This guide is for everyone, but it was constructed with education graduate students in mind. Here's a list of resources for helping you write your thesis or dissertation. The library's ebooks are accessible only to current faculty, students, and staff. If you're off campus, you'll have to sign in with your Moodle or Bridge login and password. On the next tab, we have reference sources. They help you get a good foundational understanding of your topic, identify key concepts and scholars. You can do a quick search here in this multidisciplinary reference search, but I've also included some specific uh, encyclopedias and dictionaries for education. The articles page is the most used one on this guide. Lots of tips on how to search, uh, interlibrary loans, and then a list of education-specific databases. Hover over the eye icon uh, right here and you can get a sense of what the database's contents are and sort of match it up to your own research question. Next we have books. There's a link to the library's catalog for searching and we also have some search tips right here. This also includes ebooks and that's a really popular format in education given the number of off-campus scholars that we have. An increasingly popular page on this LibGuide is for videos. Here's a search bar for DVDs, Blu-rays, and streaming videos. I've also listed a number of relevant streaming video databases for you here too. Once again, you can hover over that icon to get a sense of the holdings. For example, uh, here's Curio, CBC's streaming video database. Ooh, Canadian content, so that's a good one. Take a look at that if you're interested. The next tab we have research resources. You'll find information on different methods including some education specific uh, resources to help you with your own research projects. Next we have the theses tab. So if you need to hunt down a specific thesis or dissertation, please see my new video that will give you some tips on how to do so. And of course we also have some links to the actual resources themselves. 
The Writing and Citing tab leads you to more support resources, including our citation guide that includes APA and our EndNote training and support. You can also contact the Writing Centre if you wish to schedule an appointment with them. And then there's other resources that can help you do specific things like a literature review. So I've included a link to Oxford Bibliographies right here. You know what, let's just do a quick segue. I'm just going to click on that. You can do a keyword search here, but you can also browse by subject. So I'm going to pick education. So let's see the topics. It's in alphabetical order. I'm just going to click on this one right here. Each entry is going to give you some background on your topic along with lists of relevant resources and key scholars. So if you're about to do a literature review of your own on an education topic, this is a great resource to consult. The next tab redirects us to a page with um, information specific to off-campus students, so I'll just open that up really quickly. If this applies to you, you can take a quick look. Then the next tab takes us to a page specific to library sources um, and services for faculty. And then finally, we have the Open Access Resources page. Many of our electronic resources are available only to current faculty, students, and staff. The licensing agreements we have to sign for these subscription databases often exclude alumni and community members. So you can find out information about uh, Open Access on this page along with a number of other resources. I've put up a list of 100% open access journals for education. So if you're an alumni or community member, you won't have to get past a paywall for these ones. Just click right here. I've done my best to weed out any predatory journals. Um, here's one for grad students, hint, hint. Um, for researchers looking to publish in open access journals, I've tried to find you a number of journals that don't charge any author publication fees, and I'll continue to update this list as often as possible. Well, let's just go home. All right, well, that's all for now. If you need me, my contact information is right here along with the main research help desk. Please remember, we're here to help.